Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, and I've got one of the best money glitches in the game for you. This works on Xbox and PC, and I've got a nice bit of information for you that can help solve a major problem that people keep running into involving vendor inventories not resetting. Now to start off, you're going to want to head to Neon City, which you can pretty much take the route I took when I was looking at the map to get over here. Once you get inside, our first stop is actually going to be off to the right. We're going to head over to the Outfitters because this guy sells something that you you probably need and you will need to do this. So we'll head in here, talk to this guy. Now the first time you talk to him, if you haven't talked to him before, you might be stuck with a little bit longer dialogue than this. But either way, once you get a buy from him, you're going to be looking for a power boost pack because what that's going to allow you to do is jump a whole lot higher and you're going to need it. Now, back from the beginning, instead of going and buying from him, we go to the left to the trade authority. What I like to do is jump on top of this little thing and then we're going to jump and grab onto this. Now, try to remember that if you are pushing forward while boosting, you won't get quite as high of a jump, so make the most of your jump and then push forward at the peak of your jump. Now from here we're going to jump across this gap and depending on your skills you may land on top or you may land kind of on a ledge over here and I'll show both ways for you to go if you end up in either one. So boost up, up top, you just kind of hop this wall right here and then drop down, end up on the other side. Now, if you ended up on the ledge instead, which it wouldn't surprise me, some people end up here. You're going to walk around the corner and you're going to jump over here. Then, regardless of if you came the top way, the side way, whatever, you're just going to run down this path. We're going to head down to this wall. And then when you get down here, we're going to boost up and over it. Make sure you cushion your fall a little bit. It's a, it's a decent fall. And you run around the corner. You don't have to worry about falling through the roof right there. Or ceiling, floor, whatever the case may be. It's all of those things. Now once you're down here, you've got full access to the chest. This one has a bunch of weapons and money. And all that sort of good stuff. And it doesn't count as being stolen. Which is a huge plus. Now the chest that's back behind that is a coffee shop. They don't really have a lot of value and they carry very little credits. This is where all the money's at. And there's two ways to go about grabbing it. You can either try to jump over and grab it mid-air. Or if you miss it or you just hop down here. Boost up from underneath it. You can grab it. And remember, you got to hit the button to transfer items and make your life a whole lot easier. And there's a bunch of high value things in this chest. So now you've got two choices from this point. You can either fast travel back to Neon Core or you boost your way back up here. Let your boost refill a little bit. And then we're going to jump up again to end up getting sucked through the floor. Now, if you have any issues with the chest not resetting and getting new inventory, you want to talk to this guy and the guy straight across the hall from him. Because when you go in to do a trade with them, it will reset their inventory and refill those chests. But of course, you will need to wait 24 to 48 hours between each run generally speaking 24 seems to do the trick but it, remember if the chests aren't full go talk to them that's all there is to it don't forget to check out my other content and please remember to like sub and share later